everyone, welcome to another session of the weekly download for Video Content School and Creative Haven. I wanted to talk today about posting the social media because I think a lot of people uh, really want to learn what are the best formats, aspect ratios, codecs, and all that special jazz for social media. And so when it comes to social media, there are, of course, the uh, mobile apps that you have to think about. So when you're uploading, you have to make sure your videos look good on your phone. That means they can't have small text and you have to be um, aware of what the formats are for each social media platform and the aspect ratio. So we all know that when it comes to um, Instagram, you have square, which is one, one, and then you have four, five, which is the portrait. And then you have um, nine by 16, which is the vertical IGTV videos. You could go horizontal as in landscape, but it doesn't look good on Instagram because you don't take up the real estate of your phone. So the best thing to do is have square and portrait for the Instagram feed. And then for IGTV, you want to have the full vertical 9x16. Now for the resolution, I like to do 2000 by 2000 pixels for square and for um for vertical, I like to do the opposite of basically um, uh, 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 4K. So 3260, uh, 3260, and then 21990, 2160 by 1920 is 3940. So yes, so what I like to do is basically take 4K resolution, make that into square, and then make that into vertical. We're talking about Instagram as well as TikTok. Now TikTok, you actually have to film on your phone because people don't really like it when you just film on a nice camera and then try to upload it to TikTok. It's very much a creator focused platform where you should be using the phone and its capabilities when it comes to TikTok and its app. And for Instagram and for a lot of these social media apps, what I like to do is that I export my bit rate at 16. So 16 um, bit rate. And at the same time, I also just keep it at an MP4. MP4 is just the best um, compressed codec and wrapper that I use so that I could have um, less space taken up on my phone and it has the best quality. It's like, the, it's like an MP3 for video files online. So when it goes to YouTube, a lot of people watch that horizontal. Yes, there is this new feature now where it's like stories because everyone's trying to become like TikTok. We can do verticals, you can do square, you can do landscape. Although I do have to say this, it's mostly gonna be um, landscape because a lot of people are streaming YouTube on their TVs now and they're used to watching things in long form like it's a Netflix show, okay? So when you are um, uploading to YouTube and you wanna optimize for YouTube, like we said in a previous video, have it landscape 4K 2160 by 3940. I think that's it, or 3840. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong right now, but basically 4K resolution. And um, for me, when you are on LinkedIn, same thing. And uh, when it comes to TikTok, use your phone. And when I am actually uploading to these platforms, you also want to keep it native. So don't just create a YouTube video or upload to YouTube and try to share the video on LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram. Can't really do it on Instagram, but on Facebook and LinkedIn. What you really want to do is that you want to upload to the platform um, natively. So you upload straight to Facebook, you upload straight to LinkedIn. The reason why is that, is that Facebook and LinkedIn and these platforms want you to stay on the platform. So they reward people for uploading straight to the platform than just share, show, um, sharing a YouTube link, which will take them off of the platform. And so the way to get around that, you put the link of the YouTube or even a podcast in the comment section. And so what I really learned is that when I work with clients or I make my own videos, I shoot for landscape and I also keep in mind that I want to crop a square. So I want to keep everything center and if I need to uh, create vertical videos out of it, then it becomes a little tricky because then you have to basically make sure that your vertical um, uh, screen, when you crop it, is into pixelated. And so I always shoot things in 4K because let's say you have to 
upload a landscape for YouTube, a square for Instagram, and then a vertical for IG stories or for TikTok, then you have to make sure that when you film it, that you're actually um, prepping for the vertical. Because when you prep for the vertical, everything else gets falls in line. But if you, let's say, film your hands out wide and you have things in your hand and you crop for vertical, then you miss out the things in your hands that are meant for landscape or shot for landscape. So and the way that I do it is that uh, when I work at a studio and we have to create um, square and vertical and landscape, I get my monitor. So I have my camera um, output to a monitor with an HDMI, a TV or a computer monitor, and then you tape actual, you get thin gaff tape and you tape off what's a square, all right? Usually with the square, you can also plan to make that, um, uh, what is it called, your vertical tape off or your vertical, what is it called, um, cut off. Um, and so what you wanna do is just be able to take your measuring tape, you go across and you go down, you measure how long the TV is, the screen is, how tall the, t the screen is, and then you use some mathematical, uh, you know, mathematical um, equations, actually it's just knowing how much it would take for the vertical tall, and then you want to put it on the top because you want to make a square, right? So then let's say it's 12 inches high, right? Then you want to um, measure the um, length of the screen, and then you want to minus 12. And then so let's say that it's, it's this, um, uh, the landscape or the, the length or the width of the TV. So let's say the width of the TV is um, 60 by 12, um, might be off right here. So you want to actually have 60 minus 12, so that ends up with 48. And then so now you want to split 48 by 2, so 24. And then you measure 24 to this side, mark that there, 24 to this side, mark that there. And in the middle, you should have your 12. Hopefully that made sense. So this is really good for you videographers out there and also a lot of people out there who are creating videos. When you are creating things for online, you have to plan for the vertical, for the square, and the landscape, okay? Hopefully that was helpful. That's a lot of what I've learned when it comes to video content. At the same time, it's a lot of what I've learned over the years when I'm creating my own content for online. I always prep for the vertical, the square, and the landscape by making sure I'm within the lines. You can use the lines or the measurement on a monitor the way I taught you, or you can just eye it and you can just look at your, um, your camera LCD screen and try to keep it in there. There's also ways where you go into your camera and in your LCD settings, you can set a grid. And when you set the grid, you can actually give it so that you can see where the square is. All right, hopefully that was helpful for everyone out there who wants to learn how to make videos for social media and it's a thing now. Like you're not, <laughs> I'll be honest, it's, if you're gonna be planning for a long form feature film, then yes, you're gonna be filming an anamorphic or whatnot in cinema, in, in, in good old cinema aspect ratios. If you're filming these days, usually it's videos for social media. So you got to just keep this stuff in mind. And hopefully this is very helpful for you. All right. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.